Yes, uh, it's great to be with everybody tonight on our Friday Center meeting. And today we're just going to have a little talk. I'm going to present uh, very briefly some thoughts about social media opportunities and tips with Atomy, uh, bringing our Atomy way to the internet and uh, some of the things that I try to do. And so just some thoughts here. And then after that, we'll have a chance for q and A. I know certain people are very active on social media. Other people are medium active and, and other people are thinking about how, how they're doing it. So just some preliminary comments before I get started. Well, get into the tips, okay? I, as I approach the online um, efforts, I always bring with myself the Atomy way. And I try to remember the Atomy way. So for example, uh, we don't sell an Atomy, right? We share. We're a relationship business, an Atomy in a teaching business, but we're a relationship business. Um, we make our money not by selling to thousands of people ourselves, right? We make our money by getting, you know, a couple dozen of uh, loyal, crazy consumers that we know or that we come to know. And then we find from that group some crazy, crazy leaders that are like us and want to have a better life and make income. So we're no, so that's one thing I bring with me when I go there. So I try to approach it about listening and developing, nurturing relationships. So that's what I try to do. And just like um, in, in normal life, when you meet people, I try to listen um, 80% or more than talking. So that's a, a great uh, framework that I, I think to approach it, right? Because everybody's, you know, Talking, talking, talking. So I try to apply this online. So that's kind of just a foundational thing I do first. The other preliminary remark I just want to make is that in marketing, um, whether online or offline, there's two types of marketing we're all aware of, right? The first one is outbound marketing. Sometimes they call it interrupting marketing, right? You get an email that you never asked for. You get a direct mail in the mail, lots of mail in the old days. You get a telephone call from telemarketers. These days we get a bot text, right? That's all the other side out from pushing a message outside. What I like to think about is with Atomy and social media, we're trying to do inbound marketing. Inbound marketing is permission marketing, right? Offline, that would be an example of you go into somebody's shop that sells hats. Well, you're probably kind of interested in hats. Nine out of 10 people. Maybe a few people are just, you know, wasting time, but they're already kind of interested. So they've given you permission to talk about hats. Um, it's the same way online. You may have an interest in a certain topic and you may sign up for email. So that's the same thing there. And so... As we go for, as I like to go for inbound marketing, meaning the outside people coming to me, then I want to make sure, first of all, when I go into social media, that I have my profile for whatever platform is up to date. Very basic things, a picture, basic, you know, a line of describing who I am. That's just the basics, right? ABCs. But it's kind of good to do that to make sure that they can see who you are. So that's just the preliminary comments. What I'd like to do now is just share uh, seven areas with seven words, very briefly, of like how I approach uh, doing this type of uh, inbound marketing promotion. So the first one is community. Community, community is a huge thing online. It's in life as a community, right? It's a huge thing, but that's where really people are trying to create communities. People are starving for communities, meaning people that have similar interests and that type of thing. So we already have these offline. So some of the communities online may be just an extension with people you already know, right? Your family groups and everybody knows that, you have Facebook group, messenger groups, that type of thing. So that's one place to play around with your social media um, um, activity. The second one is you could join a Facebook group or another social media group of a topic of interest. In my case, I join a lot of entrepreneurial type of groups, startup groups, because that's my background is startups. And I kind of 
I know a lot of information there. So that's a second way is to join a group. The third way is to make your own group, make your own special interest group. And I know some of us here have done that. Hemoheme interest group or health and wealth group. So you can have your own group. So those are kind of three ways to get on with uh, with the uh, community. Um, but regardless of whether you're creating it, joining it, um, I think a couple of tips are to make sure it's a fit for you, that you have a genuine interest because a big thing about online is authenticity, right? Um, that kind of thing. Uh, another thing is just etiquette, right? There's always group rules. And when you're coming into a group, it's like you're coming into a party. You know, you're not going to, and sometimes people come in and they start to blast about all these things and that's not good. So use your common sense. And then another one is I try to bring my atomy principles, especially um, my cherish the spirit, think of the other person and also serve in humility. But community is a one way to extend yourself and develop your brand by being in selective communities that fit with you and that you can start to become active. Because the second way I approach thing, things on social media are contribution, contribution first. So for example, I'm going to, I try to build up credibility. Credibility sounds familiar from the eight core daily habits, right? And what I try to do is um, beyond just liking someone's post, I try to select certain things where I can add some value, either encourage somebody, but if they're asking a specific question, I try to give them useful information. Even if it's not regarding health or not regard, definitely at the beginning, it might not be regarding anatomy. So I try to do that. So one case study example is I'm in a group called the uh, side hustles. Side hustles, people want extra income. And there's all kinds of, you know, different ideas there. So if it's something that I can contribute to, even if it, you know, it has nothing to do with our goals for Atomy, I share something about entrepreneurship or how to use a platform, whatever it is, if I have something to add. And then what I find is that, you know, people appreciate that. So the other day I contributed a long answer to somebody who wanted to use a certain plat freelancer platform, gave them a lot of inside tips. It could probably be a little uh, video maybe. But I just gave them a lot of information and they were so thankful. They said they rated four or five times. Then they asked me a second question. I did it. And lots of people ended up liking that. It became a conversation, right? So I like to have them ask me and that's inbound marketing. Um, and then if they do ask me, I try to answer a little bit more on the site. I've seen a lot of people who try to push sales or even push MLMs where they'll say, hey, DM me or direct message me. And that's a sure sign, sure sign that someone's really trying to push, 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 sell, sell, sell. Now, I'll give you another uh, case study. Um, this was on LinkedIn. Now, I was the uh, sufferer of such a push, push procedure. There was a, a young lady who um, used points kind of in mailing to ask me about if I'm interested in her, her lead generation, because she must have known that I'm in anatomy and I'm, you know, doing marketing. But she asked me about using her lead met lead uh, generation tool. And so, you know, I didn't answer actually. I read it, but I didn't answer her. And then another day or so later, she sent me another message, but I still didn't answer it. I saw it. And then another day she sent me the video and even LinkedIn said, put a message up there, like, tell us if this is a, uh, you know, dangerous content uh, because, and I don't know if it's the algorithm, but there was no conversation started. It was just push, push, push. And um, so that bad example is that there was no relationship there. And that was an example of that person using outbound marketing, but they didn't get me in the conversation, which goes to my next C, conversations. <laughs> I like to uh, try to get people in conversations and join their part of conversations. Now, here's a fun fact. Um, I've heard this years ago, and it's, it's still true, um, that out of the 100% of the people on social media, 1% are content creators. They're building a brand. And another 9% engage. They might like or comment, 9%. But 90% are only watching, are only watching. So like going back to that example of um, that uh, side hustle, I answered that woman and, you know, at least nine people saw that. 
answer. And the good thing is it stays up there and people can go back and check on you. And that's how you're building your reputation. So again, my approach there is a, a light touch. And um, by having that conversation, sorry, the 1% used to be real people making content. But what they're saying now, especially on like Twitter, that kind of thing, those are bots putting out statements to generate, you know, people interacting. And the reason they're doing that is for analytics and ads. So if you have an interest, especially to protect your children and grandchildren, I recommend everybody watch The Social Dilemma, how they're really changing our behavior with throwing a lot of content there. But the point is that even 1% is very high for real people doing that. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about creating content because that's a whole deeper thing and it takes a long time. But again, just I listen and then I have a, a light touch. Um, I think about like if I went to a party with some a few friends I know and there's not you know 20 other people in the room, I'm not going to come in the room and yell, hey, I've got this great herbal shampoo. Hey, you got to try it. But that's what sometimes happens on these uh, on these groups. So instead, with the light touch, it's something like, you know, let's say with your uh, friends and family group, um, it's your birthday, and maybe you post a picture of yourself from a year ago and today side by side, and guess what? You use the, the, the skincare, and you look really different. And then people say, hey, what happened to you? You look really different. And many people use that technique in many groups. So that's an example of like just a teaser, you know? just a little bit out there or a comment. Like another example, um, I had another interaction on another group. Um, actually, it was the same side hustle group, but it was a different interaction where someone was complaining. They wanted to do e-commerce. They were complaining about the fees for Amazon. And I just commented one sentence. I don't worry about fees because my Atomy plat uh, online shopping platform is free. And after a few days, a couple of people asked me questions. So it's so I wasn't starting with Atomy platform, but I was responding. So that's the light approach, I would say. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, channels. Channels. There's so many channels out there and everybody wastes so many times. And so, yeah, I think you have to focus. I try to focus on a couple of channels. That's what I would recommend. Um, but if you are going to focus on channels, there's a big thing I'm looking at right now because key audiences are moving channels because of censorship. Um, people have started to move from Twitter to Telegram, Getter, Gab, there's so many out there. So there are millions and millions, tens of millions of people who are moving platforms. So if you decide to concentrate on a certain channel, social media channel, then think about it a bit because you know things are moving, um, changing. YouTube, people going to Rumble, and Snapchat, of course, TikTok, and TikTok is becoming one of the most uh, popular it's shorts, I think. Um, so that's very popular, uh, but it's a very short amount of time. So that's not really about conversations that I think about. So I'm not that interested in that. Although if you were advertising a product, selling a product, you might think of that, but I don't like to think of that for, for Adam. So I pick one or two channels to try to be one of those 9% who engage. So that's about uh, channels. Five, commitment. I know some of you single people may be wondering about commitment. But commitment is if you decide to create your own channel, let's say a YouTube channel, or let's say even a, a, a group, a Facebook group, um, it takes time to build an audience. So it takes six months to a year to many years. I know the million dollar YouTuber that I was uh, studying last year, it took them 10 years to get to, you know, uh, fifty fifty thousand dollars a month, and then they went very quickly. Some people they go up in a year, but it's just it just depends on. That's usually that uh, people have prepared a lot of content already. A point about uh, the commitment from my standpoint and from Atomy is follow up. I like to say we have a sorry, inbound market. People come to us, and then our um, funnel is real uh, following up, making sure we have our list and keep connecting with them and give them different information to make a, a relationship. Um, and does it work? Yes. I've had lots of inquiries through my different channels and um, it works, but it's taken a lot of time and effort. Some people may know I started a YouTube channel about 18 months ago and it took some time. Yeah. Okay. So 
Consistency. So regular presence, um, you know, have to do it, you know, at least weekly or daily. Um, for example, if this is just from the posting side, which I don't always recommend, but um, Instagram, you know, maybe a couple times a week to seven times a week. Facebook, they say maximum one or two a day if you're outbound. Uh, Twitter, maybe one to five a day, but that means you're really getting into some kind of heavy conversation that maybe more tend to be more confrontational than helping. And TikTok is about once a day. Uh, but the point is, if you are going to do uh, your inbound presence, you know, have a presence there, watch some conversations and do that, you have to really, you know, have a schedule. So make, like, you know, 20 minutes a day. I look at it 15 to 20 minutes a day, different times of the day, total 20 minutes a day. If there's something interesting, I start to comment and see what happens. So that's consistency. Now, the last C, you must be wondering, and I like the last C because it all about really fits Adam. Collaboration. Don't you love collaboration? I mean, Adam is all about collaboration. So how do we, how do people collaborate on the internet? I'll tell you a couple of examples and I'll give you some suggestions that I like to try. Um, first of all, if you ever see any of these people with brands like podcasters or that kind of thing, what do they do? They have their own channel, but they also go on each other's shows. So with Atomy, it is a good idea to start to think about building your own brand, you know, having one or two channels that you dedicate to, because over time, you know, this is more and more important. And when you have those conversations, like a typical sales approach, when you have a conversation with someone, they're going to go to your, your, your website. They're going to go to your Facebook page. They're going to go to your LinkedIn, depending on what type of conversation. They're going to check you out. So you want the information there. Uh, but they go to each other's um, sites. And then because they're contributing again to the other person's podcast, I'm going to look up each of those speakers if I like them. So they're giving and they have their, their, their web presence there. So that's just an example. So how can we do that? You know, um, some of the things that we can do is like leverage each other's content. So if we're on each other's groups or if we're connected in Facebook or one of the other platforms, we can like a post or we can even better um, comment on that post. You know, that, hey, that Mohim really worked for me, worked for me. We can also share each other's videos, links to each other's videos, which we do in Kakao Top, but that's a private group. Um, but we could share those, you know, and we do, some of us do. So if you haven't done that, that's something to do. Um, we can start conversation in each other's groups with purposeful posts, ask a question and the other person, uh, ans answers that question. We could share a challenge, um, you know, like, um, uh, you know, uh, I, I like to do the atomy shift. I'm thinking about talking about next time, the atomy shift that we could all put a post about atomy shift. What's that? The first thing for Atomy is to shift your shopping to the Atomy online shopping mall instead of buying at CVS or, or the drugstore or the grocery store. So the shadow, that could be one thing we do, but we could come up with something inventive and we all use that keyword because if you noticed, if you've ever been to a conference, they always give you a couple of keywords and they ask you to tweet it out, put it out on Facebook. So if you purposely do that for a certain hour or days that and, and do it with each other, then it starts to get visible and then they're going to check you out with your profile. And that's another way to do it. So um, just this is the last point, but with collaboration, we're a team. We're already collaborating really, really well in our meetings on Zoom. We share stories, we give information. And so we can bring some of that very kind, wonderful sharing excitement to um, com building conversations on these other channels. Right now, I think uh, certain people are doing it. Not everybody's tried it but it's something to think about. So it's something we can talk about. So that is uh, the purposeful presentation today. And now we'll go over to uh, back to the MC. And if we have any questions or discussion, we can do that. So thanks for listening.